Hi Internet, so seeing as I was already in fancy clothes because I just tried them on at the end of the video, I decided I'd still wear them for my book haul. Because books deserve class. They are classy motherfuckers. So this is a book haul because I brought books, brought books recently. I'll start with what I brought first and then we'll go further. Um, so first I got from the book book outlet or book depository one of them whatever so I got Hinda by Marissa Meyer and I got Shadow and Bones by Libovra Le I'm not mm -mm. Shadow and Bones <laughs> yes um, so I've got these two books mainly because I keep seeing Cinder everywhere and I want it because of the cover look at that cover and it was kind of the same with Shadow and Bones um, I haven't started reading this yet. I did look at it. I kind of like it. I want to start reading it. I have started reading. I'm halfway through. I've kind of put it down for the minute because I don't want what's about to happen to happen. If you know what I mean. And uh, it's such an easy read. It's so good. It gets at the taking of me. So basically it is about... Uh, it's in the future. It's like a twist on Cinderella. She's a cyborg. Stuff happens. Um, there's a play going around and they're taking the cyborgs away to try and help cure actual people. Because cyborgs aren't people. They are, but they aren't. Follow someone in war times, drafted into army. I wasn't, I didn't really look into um, Shadow and Burns, so I haven't even heard anyone summarise it really. <laughs> but it looks good. It looks good. I want to read it. Oh great, no one of those. Now next we have... Um, the one I'm most excited about, and I brought today, the Stone Glass series by Maria V. Schneider. Or Glass series, I guess you call it. How does it go? Storm Sea Spy. So, I have Maria's other trilogies, the Yelena novels, and um, I'm gonna call it the Touch of Darkness and Power, the Touch series. Even though one's called Scent of Magic. I don't know what to call them. I don't have anything printed on them to tell you what to call them. At least the Yelena novels have the Yelena novels on them or the study series, so, you know. Now, the glass series. Chronicles of Isia. Isia novel. So these would have to be my favourite type of covers. Um, they're the same as my <laughs> Touch of Power covers. And I don't have the matching um, study series covers because they don't sell them. These are the Australian covers, but for some reason the Magic Studies just you can get the ebook, but you can't get the actual book. So you know, so I have to go with the other copy if I ever find them. My life will be complete. So these novels follow Opal. I guess it would help a lot if you read the Yelena novels first, then you could go into the Opal story because Opal is introduced in the Yelena novels. I haven't read them yet. I have high expectations. Also, something I found out, Maya V. Snyder has a website. Um, you can just Google it and it'll come up. And she has actual excerpts from her books. So like little chapters about little things. I only found this out because I went on Goodreads and I was looking at all the books and it came up with like a 1.5, 2.5, 3.5 and I was like, what? Where did these come from? And then I found out they were on her website and I have read through a couple and I am in love. Especially the Yelena ones. Mm. I was like, you do damn. I'm not even going to give it away. I have to read more, but I'm kind of <laughs> saving myself for them. Kind of stopping myself from just jumping right into the glass series, eh? This is not the weekend to try and read a trilogy. <laughs> Me. I want to finish Cinder first. I'd kind of like to start Shadow on Bones, but let's face it, I have no self-control and I will not before I start reading Glass. Cinder, I'm confident I will finish because I want to know how it ends. I can't, I, I guess I know how it ends because it's a spin-off of Cinderella, but still. It's so different to it too because there's things, unless there's something that happened in Cinderella 2, I don't think I watched Cinderella 2 or 3. I watched the first one quite happy with the first one. Oh my god I just had a frozen attack like mental frozen attack why would you marry someone that you've known for 24 hours I mean technically they'd known each other but they'd only spent like an hour together so it can be resent posed in a couple of stories it's my main worry with a lot of things I wonder if Opal gets a love interest 
Oh, who's this Cade? She does. I want to know about them. Okay, I have to, I, I can't read the back of them. Can't. But yeah, what have you guys been up to? I guess a quick update on my readings. I've started To Kill a Mockingbird. I'm a quarter of the way through. But work keeps interrupting me, so I think I need to get a good weekend off so that I can keep reading it because, like, even to where I am now, I just kind of force myself to read it in between things because I just get too immersed in the story. I got halfway through Gone Girl and I just refused to read it. Um, I didn't like the way the story was being told, like, it's fantastic writing and characters are good, but I think just the pace and I don't like when. I just didn't jump into things enough for me, like I guess straight away his wife's missing but still it just carries on and you don't really find anything out and then I read the last chap, like a random page on the last chapter and I nearly threw the book and I don't want to read it. So that's that. I haven't made any progress on Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> I haven't touched it since I last touched it and I need to buy more to buy all of them. What else? I haven't really been reading apart from To Kill a Mockingbird. Oh, I have gotten a fair bit into The Storyteller and His Three Daughters and then I put it down. I stopped doing that. I did finish reading a book called Poison in the Graveyard. I will do a review on it if I haven't already, so watch out for that. What are you guys doing with your time? You reading anything interesting? Tell me in comments below. And then I won't reply to them. I'll read them, but terrible at replying. In fact, there's a few things I have to reply to at the moment that I need to, but I keep forgetting. I like get on my computer and once you see the notifications on YouTube, it like disappears. Like I know how I can find the inbox for comments, but private messages, I'm still confused on how to find them and I'm gonna have to work it out. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a lovely week and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.